Hey there, everyone. Welcome back to Utility Sports. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the Jacksonville Jaguars as they make a pretty nice addition to the edge of their roster and someone who I think actually could be a pretty nice competitor for them on day one of being there in Jacksonville. Before I jump into my thoughts on the move here, I just want to urge you guys to leave a like on today's video. It lets me know I'm doing a good job here at Utility Sports and lets me know that you're enjoying the content. And also, take one second to subscribe if you are new to the channel. Jaguars fans, we talk a lot about Jacksonville. My co-creator on the channel here is a Jacksonville Jaguars fan first. That's his favorite team. Uh, so we talked about them quite a bit here. Uh, and now let's jump into the actual move here. Big Cat Country, a Jaguars fan page. Go check them out uh, if you haven't on Twitter yet. They are expected to sign former Seahawks and Bills tight end Jacob Hollister, who is actually one of the surprise releases just a few days ago during this whole cut day situation. I think a lot of people were surprised that the Bills ended up cutting Jacob Hollister. They had signed him to a contract, looked at him being the number two tight end behind Dawson Knox, and for whatever reason, did not hold on there. He just did not stick in Buffalo, which was surprising to me and surprising to a lot of other people. Uh, and for Jacksonville right now, their current tight end situation before the arrival of Jacob Hollister was Chris Mannertz they had. They had James O'Shaughnessy again and Luke Farrell, the 23-year-old tight end they took in the fifth round, I believe. So when I read you those names, it should come across as an evident hold that they need to address that tight end position. And that's what they are doing here with Jacob Hollister, uh, who in his career has played for Seattle, was on New England's team for a little while as well, uh, and has 115 career targets in his career, looking at 74 career receptions. That's about a 65% catch rate, which is pretty solid, especially uh, the last couple of years, he's been a lot more reliable catching the actual football. Uh, he has 650 yards in his career. Uh, he is 27 years old, so he's not an extremely young player, but he does come in. He's probably the tight end pass catching option number one for Jacksonville. They need to improve in that area. I think this move maybe is directly correlated to Zach Ertz press conference where he said, I want to retire in Philadelphia. I had thought that Jacksonville was the natural landing spot for Zach Ertz. Looks like nothing has materialized in that department and that Zach Ertz will be staying in Philadelphia. Jacob Hollister, a surprise release a few days ago, lands in Jacksonville. I think this is a pretty nice move. I think he could be their leading pass catcher at that tight end position because Mannerts uh, and O'Shaughnessy, just not two big time volume uh, guys at that spot. And Luke Farrell, unproven rookie, late round pick. I don't necessarily want to expect him to be the big time guy. Uh, looking at the Jaguars roster, I thought the tight end position was going to be rough. I thought there was a real chance that Tim Tebow even made the roster just because of that situation. Of course, he did not make it. Jacob Hollister now looks like he's going to be the lead pass target from the tight end spot. Uh, they're bringing in a leading tight end option for Trevor Lawrence. Everything that the Jaguars do is going to be trying to center that offense around Trevor Lawrence, try and really improve that team in that area. Uh, and then also trying to find uh, Urban Meyer's guys. Uh, there's been a lot of roster turnover. We expected that. We've talked about that a lot on the channel. Uh, and Jacob Hollister coming in is just another example of this uh, as they kind of figure out who they want, who they're trying to move off of uh, with the whole new culture coaching change. Uh, it's, a, it's a lot of turnover there in Jacksonville, but I think Jacob Hollister here is actually a very nice underrated signing who had a pretty nice payday in the offseason. Didn't end up working out where he went with Buffalo, never even played a game there, uh, and now is going to be a member of the Jacksonville Jaguars. Again, leave a like on today's video if you enjoyed. Let me know in the comments what you think about this Jacob Hollister signing. How many catches do you think he'll uh, grab this year? Over, under 25, let me know. I would love to hear from you guys. Again, subscribe if you are new, and we'll catch you in the very next video.